Now, when you look in the shops, there's a lot of different types of paper out there. Now, I've made a little video on the papers which I tend to use and a bit about cold press, hot press, rough paper, etc. But one thing I didn't mention is about the kind of quality of the paper as well. Now, when you look around on the market, this again is another minefield knowing what watercolour paper to use or to try. And it can be quite expensive as well, I know. But so kind of looking around and seeing what's the most popular on the market and what people tend to use. Now, the one I use here is Bockingford. So it's a Bockingford 140 pound 300 GSM, which basically means it's fairly reasonably thick, but not thick enough to kind of take a whole sheet of wash without it cockling or warping. But that's it, that's quite a nice textured paper and it's one I tend to use on a regular basis. In fact, it's my main working paper. But there are other good quality papers on the market as well. And the best way of finding out as well, if you've got friends who are also artists, ask them and find out what they tend to use. And if you can swap a exchange, a piece of paper each, so you can test out different ones, that is ideal. So Bockingford is this one here. It's got a reasonable paper texture on there. I don't know if you'll be able to pick it up on the camera. So it's quite a reasonable texture. I said it's the one I've used for this um, common frog, <laughs> which I enjoyed painting. Now this one is a budget line paper, the one I've got here. Now you can tell once, first of all, you can see the difference in color, but you can also see, I don't know if you can see it on there, there's a difference in texture as well. So let's say for example, let's get some paint a minute. Okay, I need some paint. Bear with me a minute. Hang on, I need some paint. So if I get some paint on this one here, let's just put it down on the paper there. Let's not go on the frog, shall we? <laughs> so I get a little bit of paint on there. Now, if I scumble over the top, just using the side of the brush, you can see the texture of the paper showing through. Get some more paint, do the same again, just to make sure it's the same. But when I go onto this less expensive paper, there's a bit of texture on there, as you can see, but it's not nearly the same as that. So I'll just do that once again, because I think I might have overdone it a little bit. Uh, reasonable texture. But you can see the difference in the texture straight away. See so if I do the same on this one. Nearly dry brush, nearly dry brush, exactly the same content of, of um, water within the brush. So that's a difference really. And also look at the color as well, same paint, really is the same paint. Look how dull this has gone, so much duller this one's gone compared to the better quality paper. So this is why I would say to my um, members on Patreon, is that the best thing you can do, always buy the best that you can afford. It's so, so important because the quality of the paper and the quality of the paints can make a big difference to your painting ventures. So if you any questions and comments, please post them down below. I would love to hear from you and let me know the kind of paper that you use and how well that paper performs. So until next time around, bye bye for now. If you'd like to see more watercolour painting tips, head to patreon.com forward slash the Devon artist and you'll see my full list of step-by-step -step video tutorials on how to paint wildlife in watercolour. Where you get also the project photo, the outline drawing for that month's project as well, and even a step-by-step -step handwritten or hand-typed by me full PDF on that particular current month's project. So come and join me and let's get painting together. And don't forget to click on like, subscribe and share. And please leave a comment down below as well. I'd love to kind of hear your thoughts and find out what you've been up to on your painting ventures. So until next time, bye bye for now.